sounds of explosions and gunfire as France played uh, Germany in soccer earlier on Friday the 13th at Le Stade de France. Multiple terror attacks in the City of Lights with Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth, our continuing coverage of the terror attacks in Paris. And there is no one better to speak with than our guest standing by in Newsmax, Washington, the former director of both the CIA and the NSA, General Michael Hayden. Mike, as we continue to discuss this, and of course, it's the basic who, what, when, where, why, and how, the questions we ask, the, we're still trying to get a handle on this. But I'm just gonna ask you to think back in your memory over the last 10 days. Any indication, any increase in chatter, anything you heard, any thread of something that might have tipped something like this off? I'm not aware, J.D., but then again, I'm out of government, all right? But just, just think back to the question you just asked me and play it back not 10 days but 14. Go back two weeks. J.D., in, in, in the time period of a fortnight, we've had a Russian airliner go down, We've had massive suicide bombings in Beirut, and now we have these very unhappy events taking place in Paris. Now, there's still questions about each of them, but it is not an illogical conclusion that we might end up finding out that each one of these has been conducted and directed, or at least inspired, by ISIS. And when you step back, J.D., and look at that over a 14-day period, it suggests we've entered into a completely different phase of evil coming from this group. General, we've discussed that there's, there was multiple attacks, as many as 60 people are dead, but there are still 100 hostages in that theater. I know you're not a French authority, uh, but what is going on right now, your best estimation, to get those people out safely? Well, Miranda, the real answer is I don't know, but, but let me go on to say that the French are good at this. The French security services are tough and they're professional. So, so they'll do what the situation calls for. I, I, I think they'll certainly be professional. I think they'll be patient. But the French, if the scenario calls for action, uh, the French will act. Uh, th this is a very good force. They, they had us, our, our highest regard when we worked with them when I was in government. And for those still in government, uh, our commander in chief uh, was uh, in front of the cameras just a little while ago to talk about what transpired. Let's, let's listen to more of what President Obama had to say earlier tonight. France is our oldest ally. The French people have stood shoulder to shoulder with the United States time and again. And we wanna be very clear that we stand together with them in the fight against terrorism and extremism. Paris itself represents the timeless values of human progress. Those who think that they can terrorize the people of France or the values that they stand for are wrong. Uh, Mike, as we um, come back to you in Newsmax, Washington, uh, I just want to ask you, in terms of, and I'm trying to find the right way to put this, Obviously, every time there is one of these events, it is a learning situation. Uh, there are takeaways. Of course, the French went through Charlie Hebdo back uh, in January. What were their takeaways or what were your takeaways in terms of dealing with, with these urban attacks in a place like Paris? Yeah, actually what I took away, J.D., from the Charlie Hebdo attack, that the French, as, as good as they were, they had exhausted their resources. The scale of potential threats had grown so large that the Charlie Hebdo folks, the attackers, were on the French radar. They just didn't have the resources of the legal authorities to either survey them or to, or to arrest them. Um, the French have a very serious problem. They have a large Islamic immigrant community, and before anyone makes any conclusions, I'm not blaming the Islamic community. But there is a large community there, J.D., and frankly, it is not assimilated into French society. They feel isolated in the broader, in the broader French culture, which gives France, because of the numbers and because, frankly, of, of that lack of assimilation, a far greater problem than we've ever had here in the United States. 
this is going to be the problem from hell for the French security services and frankly for the French political structure and the French people. What do we now do with the presence of this kind of threat, which has raised its head now multiple times inside of French society? How do we deal with this threat and not change our DNA as a free people? General Michael Hayden, uh, a lot of questions. Thank you for providing your perspective as we search for answers and deal with this developing story. Friday the 13th, uh, giving way to incredible coordinated terror attacks in Paris. We will have more as we continue our coverage here on Newsmax TV right after this.